All right, guys, what's up? Another video for you. Uh, this is going to be for Windows 8, believe it or not. Now, Windows 8, pretty fucking easy. Um, not relatively different from Windows 7, but just in case you want to install it, here's an easier way to install it. Well, not really an easier way, but I think you anything with USB installation is easier anyway. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the boot crypt to a... USB drive, which you're going to need one about 4 gigs or higher, um, so keep that in mind. They're like $10 at Walmart or some shit, but uh, you need a 4 gig USB and you need your Windows 8 disk, which I have a copy of mine right here, and um, just need to follow this video after that. So uh, once you get the materials, you're going to go ahead and pop your Windows 8 disk into your DVD drive. and um, and take your USB stick like so and plug it in to said computer. Now once you plug all that in and the fun jazz, open up your uh, my computer and you're gonna locate your DVD rewrite drive which is right here and you're gonna see that it's labeled F for mine. Yours, is, yours might be different here and there and then uh, you also have your removable drive here which is the USB stick uh, G, which it may be different for you as well, so keep that in mind. But the letter is what you're looking for, so whatever that letter is, remember that there. So let's leave this window open like that for now, for reference, and uh, let's move to the next step. So, what you want to do now is search CMD, and you're going to see command prompt. Now, don't just hit enter, right click on it, and say run as administrator. So, run that as the administrator, prompt is going to come up, hit yes. Uh, you probably don't see it in the video. But uh, anyways, here's your command prompt. So I'm going to leave the command prompt here and this window in the background so I can see what I'm looking at here uh, for the removable disk and the DVD drive. So first thing you want to do is you want to type disk part. So D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Lowercase or all capital, it doesn't matter. And it's going to start the disk part version that your system has. And here's disk part right here. Now what I want you to do is say list disk and it's going to list disk numbers that are plugged into your drive. Now disk 0 is your hard drive and disk 1 is going to be the USB stick that's plugged in and disk 2 is like if you have any other disk there it's probably some kind of unit like uh, an SD adapter or something that you have in your computer that's plugged in automatically and it's trying to read something that isn't there um, so take out anything like say you have an SD card reader in the front of your laptop like I do take that out so you don't get confused uh, but we got disk one so what you're gonna do is say select disk one or whatever disk it is for your removable stick and you can tell by the size and um, <clears throat> 384 um, or 83,854 but um, that's uh, four gigs roughly disk one is now selected so once you select disk one then you're gonna hit clean or well type clean and hit enter and then it'll say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk so once the disk is cleaned um, you're gonna notice the icon start changing it's inoperable right now now what you wanna do is say create c-r-e-a-t-e -E, space partition space primary and hit enter succeeded in creating the specified partition now once you do that uh, you want to say select partition one and hit enter partition one is now selected now once you do that you're going to type active this will activate that partition. Mark the current partition as active. Now after you do that, type format and then space fs equals ntfs and hit enter and allow it to format the disk. So while that's formatting because it's probably it's doing a full format so it's going to take a little while I'm just going to go ahead and pause this video real quick so we don't have to wait around too long. It would let me. There we go. 
and uh, I'll be right back once the format has been complete. Alright, so now that the format is finally complete, it'll say 100% complete. This part successfully formatted the volume. So then after that, basically what you just want to do now is type assign. So type A S S I G N E. Never mind, not E. And then hit enter. And then it'll assign a drive path letter to the stick. Alright, so now. Now that that's done, you can see that it's been changed to removable disk D. It'll change. It selects a letter at random depending on where it's plugged in. Um, and uh, now we're going to go over to where we have to copy files to this drive. So uh, leave command prompt open. And what I want you to do is type exit. And it's going to go back to leaving the disk part and it'll be back to the Windows System 32. We've already inserted the DVD. So we don't have to worry about that. That's why we did it in the beginning of the video. And what you want to do is type the letter of your drive, which mine is F. So I'm going to be using that F colon and then space. And you're going to type CD boot and hit enter. Now that has to be all in capital letters, just like I wrote it right there. F colon CD boot, all capital. All right now type CD boot again in all capital letters and it's going to read from the disk. Now you're going to be in the boot section of the CD. Now what you need to type all capital letters B O O T S E C T dot E X E space slash N T six zero and then the letter of your removable disk which mine is D so D colon or whatever yours is and hit enter and then it will say D volume and it'll have this weird ass fucking code there in brackets and upon brackets and uh, it'll say successfully updated NTFS file system boot code boot code was successfully updated on all target volumes once you're done with that exit your command prompt and now what I want you to do is open up uh, your removable disk in a separate window. So right click on it and say open a new window. Now you're going to see that the folder is empty. So we're just going to pop that over there. And now go into the DVD rewrite drive F for your Windows files. Now what you're going to want to do is select the top one, hit shift and go down to setup here or however many files are there and select all the files there and just drag and drop and copy them to the removable disk drive so it'll detect all the items and um, 3.0 or 2.0 USB um, ports are probably at best for this because we're shit we're copying over you know quite a few gigs so um, allow them to copy over the files like so and then uh, it should be about 3.4 uh, gigs so allow that to copy over so I'm gonna pause the video again and let that copy over like so because um, it's saying you know about 30 minutes and that's with a 2.0 fast high-speed USB so I'll be right back once that's done copying those files alright so once that's done copying the files over to the USB stick you can check and see all this fun jazz is here and um, just to prove I'll start up the setup here and uh, I'll hit yes and it'll be the Windows 8 installer da -da -da. so now basically all you do is um, exit that and I can exit this now because that's just the disk and you can take the USB stick out of the USB port in your computer and now you have a bootable USB for Windows 8 installation so uh, any computer that doesn't have a CD DVD rewrite drive to read a disk or um, just for convenience of carrying Windows 8 around in your pocket if you want to go install it um, somewhere you now have that. So all you do is just boot up the computer, go to the uh, on-screen boot menu, or um, go into your setup, and uh, 
set up the boot manager for um, USB to boot first and uh, you'll boot from the USB and you can install Windows 8 using your new and improved USB stick. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. Enjoy. And remember, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, SoftwareReborn.com, with all downloads and possible information that you can find other than a YouTube channel, which is mine. And um, go check out my Twitter, at DeathRain333. Follow me on that for all the updates and stuff like that with my YouTube and my blog and stuff like that. And then my blog forms is also on Google. All the links are on the channel. And, uh, yeah, so take it easy. Feel free to donate to my channel for proceeds for more materials, for more tutorials for you guys. And I will talk to you all later.